What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. In today's video, I haven't actually been vlogging. I've been at Charlotte's for the last couple of days. Told myself I was going to vlog, but one, not had that much to vlog and two, haven't vlogged anything of what I've been doing. So let me catch you guys up. Yesterday, I went to the gym and trained push day. Uh, as you guys know, I've been sticking to the push-pull legs routine. It's going really well and I have something very interesting from yesterday's workout to show you, which is to do with the title of today's video. <laughs> I also went to the gym today and did a pool day, but I didn't need to record that because I already had the push workout. That was straight after we went into Sutton and bought some new shoes. Right, that was a quick two minute trip to Topman. Just bought some shoes. Unfortunately, 30 pound, which is pretty much day's wages down as well but it is what it is long story short we thought we were going to go into birmingham we're not we're going somewhere else and we're going out for drinks and what i'm going to be wearing i never do this but i want to show you guys just this one time for one specific reason what i'm wearing is my lsj emblem tee i'm doing a restock of the black and white as well as the sales of the summer limited edition ones i'm wearing these jeans from top man and these shoes that are brand new that we just bought from Top Man as well. So, looking forward to it. Let's get going. Right guys, so it's been a couple of days since I last spoken to you uh, and I've caught up on editing with the video and realized that when I went out to the pub the other day, um, I got a little bit too drunk and just didn't record anything. So, uh, it's a couple of days later now and here we are down the park just walking the dogs along the dam here just going around the park a couple of times doing some post-workout cardio so i'm going to enjoy this quality time with them and charlotte as well and then what we're going to do is jump into the topic of today's video stay tuned guys enjoying the video so far if you are then let me know by leaving a like comment and subscribe for loads more good content over the summer we'll have days out we'll have nights out holidays coming soon and before you know it, we'll be back at university and trust me guys nobody is as excited for that as i am i can't wait to show you guys new content there's a new house there's gonna be new flatmates a new year new memories and i just can't wait to get started guys but with that said let's get on with today's topic as you can see by the title today's video is going to be about failure and what you can see in the background is a push workout from the other day and among all the other usual exercises like chest flies incline bench all the typical stuff that you would normally do the highlight of the workout was the bench press now I've never done a one rep max test before. That might sound weird and that's because it is. Like it's a great way of measuring progress. Loads of people do it. But to be honest, I've always just cruised with the progressive overload sort of method and, and doing it that kind of way. And it's, I've just been content with the way I've been doing things. But the past couple of weeks, I've set myself a goal. One that I haven't mentioned on the channel so far and kind of hinted at on my Instagram and only mentioned to my friends. But I wanted to bench 100 kilos before I beef her. So far, I failed. <laughs> I've uh, I've tried twice. Once in the home gym. Um, it was my first time ever holding that much weight above me. But in my head, I was ready. I, I tried a couple of times and failed. But hit 90 kilos and 95 kilos, easy, dead easy, right? So I told myself I had 100 kilos. I had it. I was gonna. I was, it was all sorted in my head. I had it easy. I didn't. <laughs> so um, so I stayed positive, knowing it's just part of the process, which it is, knowing I'd hit it one day, just not today. So I tried again in Birmingham, this is the workout you're seeing right now, it's a couple of weeks later, I'm feeling good, I hit 95 kilos, I hit 97.5 kilos, just not 100. I got halfway up there, just couldn't finish it off at the top, but I know I have it in me, so I'm putting it out there, one of the goals before I be for is to hit that 100kg bench press. But I've decided it's fate. I've decided it's fate to hit for the first time ever for me to press that amount of weight above my fucking head in the home gym with two blue plates. That is what I'm gonna do before I beat her. So the message I want you guys to take away from this is to never be scared to fail. 
because the reality is, as, as, as much as I was telling myself I was going to hit it, there was a massive, massive chance that I wouldn't, and obviously I didn't. But at the end of the day, you can't win the lottery if you don't buy a ticket. And the way I see it is, quit is never win, and win is never quit. So stick with it, whatever your goal is, don't be scared to try, don't be scared to fail. Even if it's 50 kilos, if it's 10 kilos for God's sake, there was a time where no one could do that, where I couldn't do that. And I know there's gonna be people watching this saying, <laughs> you can't even bench 100. Well, my answer to that is, it's a marathon, not a sprint. I know I'll get there one day and I can laugh at the fact that I know that one day I'll be wrapping that out like it's a warm up. I know, that, I know that's a long, 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 long way away and it's going to take a long time to get there. But my God, am I excited for the journey. That's going to conclude today's video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.